Peace and greetings to you. This is Omar Abdul Malik, physician assistant and health educator. Um, I wanted to answer some of you all's questions about um, grades, your transcripts for for PA school or med school. I, I hope nobody gets offended with me answering questions about medical school because I'm not a, a medical doctor. I'm a physician assistant. I did apply to, to medical school many years ago though. And I worked with doctors as a PA. So yeah, I worked with a lot of them that are in academics. Um, one question was how many W's and how many C's are too much on your transcript? And um, I, I think my answer is to be succinct, it, it depends. Um, if you have, let's say for instance, you are like many freshmen, college students, where it's your first time away from home, um, there's nobody there to really discipline you. You know, there's no notes home to your mommy or daddy that you're getting bad grades or you're not coming to class. You're considered a full-fledged adult. So whether you come to class or not is on you. So many of you all who are graduating from high school going on to college, that's going to be a very new experience um, for the average one of you all. Uh, you may not be able to handle it um, as, as well as you may think. So you're kind of, what admissions committees do, and this is, having been on an admissions committee, this is what I did. I would look at a student's first year of college and say, okay, I can see in this first semester, the student was kind of getting adjusted. He's eight, he or she's 18 years old. You know, they took chemistry with lab and got a C. Okay, it's not a really good grade, but you know, they got maybe an A in English and then an A in chemistry lab. Next semester, they still didn't quite have it together, so they took chemistry uh, two and you know they were flunking they got a w usually if you get a w in a class i don't want to say usually but in some cases um an admissions person may look at that and say well why did you withdraw from that course did you withdraw because you were flunking it and you didn't want to get an f or, or you know or a d or a c even or did you withdraw because it was a course that um, you decided you, you weren't ready for, or that you just didn't really need. Um, if, you withdrew from, if you withdraw from a course that's not the core curriculum, like let's say you take, um, I don't know, I took a course like, I don't know, I took this course like almost 30 years ago called uh, Eastern Philosophy. Yeah, it was interesting. I didn't really need the course. It was just an interesting course to take. Now, I could have withdrawn from that. An admissions committee member wouldn't really look askance at that. They said, why did you get a W in Eastern philosophy? Now, if it's physics, chemistry, bio or biology, or organic chemistry, now admissions committee members start looking at that like, well, you know, these are courses that you, that are part of your science GPA. What was going on here? You have to have an excuse for that. Um, if you have too many W's, meaning, I think I had three W's, which was ridiculous, because uh, I was all over the place in terms of my major and, um, and, and grades, to be, to be honest. I, I found a copy of my transcript from uh, the, um, the 90s, so I, I think I'll do a video about that. You don't want to have more than two W's. Uh, on your on your transcripts or and you don't want to have more than let's say three or four C's it just it just doesn't it doesn't look good I mean if you think about it think about being on a professional basketball team you know these are the the elite of the elite you know these are people that were awesome basketball players they were like all American in high school and college and then now they're on their most elite level that you can you can get on which is which is a professional basketball player you, know, you want the best players there so 
being in medical school, or even now the way uh, PA school is um, in terms of of uh, how challenging it is to get in academically, you're they want you know schools want their most elite students. They want their students. They want the students that that they look at their transcript and says this person has a track record of academic exceptionalism. This is somebody that's most likely going to pass the boards. They've already proven it on their GREs or their MCATs or their uh, their academic um, uh, accomplishments in undergraduate. It does not mean that you cannot get into medical school or PA school if you have a 2.5 GPA. Um, there's plenty of YouTube videos showing people, like, hey, I had a 2.1 GPA and now I'm a doctor or now I'm a PA. All right, well, this is the exception. When you look at a sample size, let's say a sample size of a thousand people, you're always going to have outliers. There's YouTube videos of of these, these uh, I think it's a brother and sister, um, I think there's an Indian, uh, they're talking about how they got perfect MCAT scores. Well, that's an outlier. You know, most people aren't going to get perfect MCAT scores or perfect, as another guy to know how he got perfect GRE scores uh, with a 4.0. Th those are outliers. Just like the people with horrible MCAT scores or horrible GPAs, GP, uh, GREs, and very mediocre GP, GPAs somehow got into medical school and became doctors or got into PA school and became physician assistants. These are outliers. If you are an average person, I'd say I was more of an average person, then um, you just you want to keep your W's and your C's to a minimum. Uh, I try not to ramble on too much about this, but I think you got the, uh, the idea. I hope this helped. So um, quantitatively, try not to get more than um, three or four C's on your, on your academic transcripts. Uh, certainly, try not to get more than three W's on your transcript. You know, and that's, that's W's that are spread out. You got one your freshman year, maybe one your, your sophomore year, then maybe one your senior year for some reason. Um, be ready to explain why you got those. Okay, I hope this helped. Uh, take care. Peace.